Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Book Talks with Yo. My name is Joanna, and today we're cooking some recipes from the French cookbook. quite some time and today I'm not working which is great and I have the time to cook and I've chosen three different recipes as you can see from this cookbook and I will attempt my best to make them mind you I'm not the best at the kitchen and I've started experimenting with cooking last year so we'll see what happens I am hopeful that it will be something delicious hopefully I'm trying to make um, something like a starter, a main course and a dessert and they're all inspired by the series Friends that I really love and this book was actually a present from my sister uh, for Christmas and I absolutely loved it but I haven't tried the recipe from it uh, before now so you will witness my first attempt and let me know in the comments if you like this one and want me to do it again. I think. If I am successful with my attempt, I would love to do something like this again. But yeah, I will take you through my cooking journey today. starting with a dessert because it is supposed to be the most time consuming it says here that it will take three hours so yeah we better start with it and then go back to the other two things and for the dessert today we are making Phoebe's chocolate chip cookies and let me just remind you of something Phoebe's French grandma's cookies are a hit they are so good that the talented chef Monica begs Phoebe for the recipe when Phoebe can't find it, they attempt to replicate it and resort to testing the last cookie Phoebe has saved in the freezer. Little do they know that the cookies are so famous that the recipe just so happens to be printed on a bag of chocolate, chocolate chips. You can get the, that recipe anywhere, so try one of Monica's trial chocolate chip cookie recipes instead. Okay, so I thought we were making those, but we are currently making something else. So. Um, this is in season 7 episode 3, the one with Phoebe's cookies. And what we need here is one cup of unsalted butter, one cup of granulated sugar that we have here, one cup of brown sugar, I think this is how it is supposed to look, at least I hope so, um, two whole eggs and what? one egg yolk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract we have here, and it says for one teaspoon of bourbon, but because we don't have this, we are going to use rum flavoring instead, and I hope that's that's okay. We'll see. And we need zest of one orange that I haven't yet zested, but I will. Um, we need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We need one tablespoon baking soda, 12 ounces of dark chocolate, where it is, it's here. Uh, because my boyfriend doesn't like dark chocolate, I'm sharing the cookies with him. I'm going to make some with milk chocolate as well. And flanky salt for sprinkling. I'm not using that. Well, yeah, let's see. The first step now we have to do is in a small pot, we have to melt the butter on medium and we have to allow it to turn to brown about five minutes. Okay? And then after we are ready, we have to put it into a bowl and refrigerate for around 40 or 60 minutes. Yeah, this is why this uh, recipe is going to be so time consuming because it asks for a lot of putting in the fridge, putting in the freezer and stuff like this, but yeah, we'll see. Now I'll just melt the butter and we'll see for the rest. So, it's been almost an hour since our butter was standing in the fridge. Hope it's cool enough. I don't think it is enough brown as they asked for, but I was really afraid of burning it, so we gotta work with this. Um, we have to mix the butter with uh, 
where are you? With the brown, yeah, the brown butter, the granulated sugar, and the brown sugar using a mixer until the mixture is pale and almost creamy. It says it has to be almost creamy, okay. I need a spoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually. Funny thing is I've only uh, made oops, I've only made uh, chocolate chip cookies once. And it wasn't really a successful then, so I'm kind of nervous and I have no idea what to expect with this one. But we are going to try our best. So we get the granulated sugar. And maybe I should start mixing. Probably I should do so. This is my friend, my friend mixer. And okay. I know why I'm always afraid when I put them. Yeah, I always get them wrong, apparently. Love that for me. It's a very professional kitchen here. We are professional. Professional. Okay, so we plug this here. So if you can see me. And we start mixing, I guess. around 240 grams in UK or European one and my butter was exactly uh, 240 so it should be enough hmm. yeah I'll just continue mixing and hope it okay I knew something might go wrong but I didn't expect it to be at the beginning five hours later Changing it all. Just get the spoon that we used earlier and try just something with it. Um, I fit. I'm gonna be my mixer right now. Yeah, it's not working either. So. Okay, it is creamy actually. Kind of, kind of creamy. It's not pale. Uh, as they said it should be. But maybe they're using different type of sugar that I don't have here. Yeah, we are going with that. Makes me feel better. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna come on. Okay, uh, hopefully this is not such an important step, said she before she mistook something else. Okay, okay, uh, I'm stopping with this. Now we need to add the two eggs and the egg yolk one at a time mixing for about 20 seconds after each okay so have the first egg hopefully don't get any shells in okay that was a okay that was good that was not that bad hope you can see what i'm doing because the camera angle is not the best one. Oh, i have to mix yeah okay so we mix again added the two eggs and the egg yolk we need to add the vanilla oops that's my vanilla my vanilla extract and the recipe calls for hmm, where are you one teaspoon okay here's my spoon um let's add this I need to clean my working space okay let's just add one teaspoon Ooh, okay, I 
don't know whether you saw that, that was a bit more than a spoon, but we are alright. So we added this, we add the raw filtering, which is not the part on there calling for, but we'll see. We are adding our own twist to the recipe. Another tablespoon. Okay, that was a bit of and then we need to add our orange zest. Let me just show you my zest. I zested it while I was waiting for the butter to cool. Like how it turned out. We are adding it here. It's very juicy. I don't know whether it should be juicy, but it is juicy. And we get our spoon again. And the recipe says that we should mix it. So you can combine. You just mix it with this pot for now. Okay, that looks good actually. But it's very creamy yet. I don't know how creamy they need us need that to be. Okay. Oh, it smells divine. It's one of vanilla, but it smells very good. Okay. After we've combined those, we need to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Okay. We did that. And then we need to, where are you? Add the flour and the baking soda while we are mixing. Okay. Again, please. Over here. Okay. Hey, wasting any. Okay. We need flour, and we need how much flour? We need it. Oh, two and one quarter. Stay there. And I'm using this, hoping not to make a big mess. So we need two and one quarter. Okay, so this is the flour we're going to be using. And, okay. My cup is dirty, it's all messy, but don't worry. I saw in the style of friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now we need to add, uh, where are you? One teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda, we have baking powder. Hope that's, that's the same. I think it should be the same. Uh, we'll find out. We're um, experimenting with a lot of things. And you'll see for the other few recipes I'm going to cook later. I'm actually um, well, not changing the ingredients. I'm just, um, you'll see. Finding alternatives to some of the ingredients. Okay, one teaspoon. Okay, that, that seems to be just a bit more. Okay. Okay. That seems about right. I need the second of flour now. One eternity later. Okay, hopefully it's done now. Uh, and the next, mm -hmm, where are you? The next step is to allow it to incorporate for a few minutes and then fold in the chocolate chunks. Should I add chocolate chunks? Yes, that means you should put the chocolate. And then I should place the dough on a clean work surface, another one and divide into quarters and roll into logs whatever that is and then wrap in wax paper or plastic wrap and refrigerate for one hour so yeah this is another part where we will wait but first i'll just clean my surface get the chocolate and i will see you in a bit So, a 
quick update. I rolled them into logs, as you can see. I had to Google this because I had no idea what roll into logs in cooking actually meant. But yeah, I think I did it right. It was a little bit too soft, I think. But it, the recipe didn't specify how it had to look like, so I hope it's that. And now they are going to chew there. Uh, they're going to chew in the refrigerator for the next hour and a bit because as I said they weren't too soft and I want them to be a little bit harder before I can bake them so yeah around an hour and 20 minutes sounds good and then we will bake them and continue to the next two recipes. So it's been slightly just slightly more than an hour and a half but I think that's gonna be all right here we have our logs of cookie dough and now we just have to what was it cut the discs from the cookie logs and place them on baking sheets i don't have baking sheets we're using trays and i'm preheating the oven on 180 degrees it is an american recipe so it calls for 350 fahrenheit but i think that's around 180 in celsius but yeah okay so we will unroll this. Oh, okay, it looks good. It's more solid. I was worried that it was um, too. Oops, I'm trying to roll it. Okay, just stop. Um, yeah, I was worried that it was going to be too soft, but it's not. Now, what is a mean trail? Oh, what? Okay, we're just trying. <laughs> Cutting biscuits. Oop. Hopefully, I'm meant to do it that way. We shouldn't be too close to one another because we will probably. Well, we are hoping for them to grow in size. But, okay. So, yeah, let's just put the rest of them. Okay, so here are the cookies. I've made this many cookies since I was in ninth grade. Uh, what was that for, like a bake sale? Yeah, it was just a Friday night. Um, they haven't cooled down yet, just took them out of the oven. But they, they may not have exactly cookie shapes, some of them. So some of them are better looking. But they smell amazing. I swear this smells divine. I think it's because of the orange zest or because of the, the vanilla extra but they just smell so good and they are a bit more a uh, golden brown in real life i don't know why the camera is making them not look like this but yeah i have another batch in the oven and then we are starting the next recipe break to taste this. The cookies, they're very good. They are chewy, they are chocolatey, maybe next time I should add more chocolate, but they are good. I'm waiting for them to cool down and we'll probably eat them after. The main things that I'm going to cook now. But yeah, they were a successful attempt. I would mm, give them 3.5 out of 5 stars. They were in the failure, but they are not the best. Uh, chocolate chip cookies have eaten and this is not because of the recipe this is because of me but yeah now we are making joey's meatball so and let's see what the recipe says when joey ross and rachel go on the ride along with phoebe's boyfriend the cop his patrol uh, car backfires scared and thinking they're being shot at joey jumps to cover ross chandler gets upset and jealous only to find out that Joey was trying to save his meatball sub instead. It sounds crazy, but Joey's meatball sub is the greatest sandwich in the world. Be careful not to oversmell all of the mouth-watering goodness, or you will suck up all the taste units, okay? This is from season 5, episode 20, the one with the ride along. But yeah, um, the recipe calls for a few things, and since it is supposed to make six sandwiches and I'm only going to make um, three because I have this big bread here, Franzella, this big 
bronzella here. I'm only going to make three sandwiches, so I'm going to do half of the ingredients, but I'll just read you the original recipe. We need ground pork and ground beef, but I only could find ground pork after work yesterday at the shop, so we're going with just that um, um, minced meat. We're just using that one. Then we need a yellow onion, here we go, a half one. Then we need uh, oregano, parsley, thyme and basil. But I found this a lovely not you. Just a lovely thing in the shop yesterday that's called, I don't know where you can see it, that's Italian herb. And we have the basil, the parsley and the thyme here. But I also add oregano and some more basil because why not. And then we also need um, some breadcrumbs. I have them right there. Um, some red wine, because this is Joey, and pine nuts, I don't have pine nuts, so we are skipping that. And we need two eggs, since I'm making half the recipe, I'm only using one egg. And yeah, first we need to make the meatballs, and in order to do that, we will preheat the oven and mix all the ingredients in a large bowl using our hands. And yeah, then we will form meatballs, don't fall. Then we will form, meatball form meatballs and place them in the oven for 20 minutes. Yeah, sounds simple, but this is only the beginning. So yeah, let's just start mixing. And it is here. Hope you can see my workspace. Okay, now you can. Um, yeah, I actually need to chop the onion. I hate chopping onions. Give me two seconds. Now I got my thing here. I got my onion. Oh, I got myself a knife and we got a chop This so far is actually going good. Hopefully not jinxing myself. I've just done one recipe and I'm like, yeah, I'm proud of myself. But yeah, as you can see, it's already turning evening and the lightning is not the lightning is not that good anymore. But I want to make this for dinner, so it wouldn't make sense to make it earlier. Plus the cookies took me a lot of time. But yeah, let's chop onion. Hopefully I'm not going to cry. I hate chopping onions and crying. But yeah. Okay. Now that I'm making all those recipes and like reading from which episodes they were and remembering the episodes, I've also watched Friends too many times. I've rewatched well I think I've watched the first four season four times and I've rewatched the whole series three times and I absolutely love it every time I know some scenes by heart as you can probably guess but I still love it every time I see it and I yeah and actually my sister is responsible for my love of friends uh, she is a great the biggest fan and when I was little when we were still sharing the room um, she would constantly watch friends so I started watching friends the first time I watched friends I was like Seventh grade, so yeah, uh, I didn't probably understand it that much back then, but yeah, now I just I love it so much just because it's amazing and because it, it is something that me and my sister have in common. It should be finely chopped, right? Yeah, I should continue chopping. Please don't judge my chopping skills, as if you can see them from there. I'm just not very good at this. I'm gonna move this so you can judge me better. Hopefully don't miss all that. Well, we will we'll continue, it's fine. It was a bigger half of the onion anyways. So, I'm ready to get very messy as I have to start mixing the ingredients here. Let me just put them here, hopefully you can see them. Yeah, so I added the breadcrumbs and now, yeah, there is no order so I'll just start adding stuff. This is the Italian seasoning. Okay, this seems about right. Or maybe more. I don't know, they're just seasoning. So I guess we need a lot. Uh, then we need oregano. This is just the meatball that we are going to be using for the Italian stuff. The, the meatball stuff. I've never actually made meatballs. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I've added all the seasonings, I think. 
these seasoning sour spine dye. I'll just add some salt to feel right. And maybe some whatever. Yeah, the recipe doesn't call for them, but just me just experimenting. Okay, I should stop. I should stop. Um should we add okay the other onions next? I haven't cried yet, so that's good. Good onions. Not making me cry. Should I mix some? Should we just just add the stuff? Okay, let's just add one egg. Ooh. This was the worst break ever. But hopefully it didn't get any crumbs and shields. I think it didn't. I really hope it didn't. And the last thing is the wine. It goes for what is it? One third of a cup. But I don't wanna uh, use a cup. So this seems about right. Okay, and now we start mixing using our hands. Okay, wow, we are starting very promising. Uh, when I was little, actually, I really, I thought I would never get into cooking. Okay, the bread wants me a strong way. I really, I thought I would never get into cooking because it looked messy to me. I hate it when I had to like touch with my hands and stuff, which you basically need for almost every type of food you're preparing at home. And yeah, but now I just, I don't enjoy it, I find it relaxing, it sounds weird, but I'm just about to too. Yeah, okay, after, you just have to mix them, or oh, careful not to overflow, as this would make blah blah blah. Uh, for meatballs, 2 to 3 inches in diameter and place meatballs on the prepared baking sheet. Okay, and bake until golden brown, about 20 minutes. Okay, I think we need to add some more seasoning. I have no idea why I feel that. I just think we do. Should we? Should I? Yeah, I'll just do. Uh, I wish I had an assistant here. Give me a Yeah. Yeah, I'll just. Wow! Maybe that's too much. Huh. Okay, I'll just. Do like do it like that. And then just like that. Oh no, just I'm just gonna use it. Hopefully it's not too over seasoned. But it shouldn't be. It, it calls for a lot of um for a lot of seasoning. So like that. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Uh, I don't know when we should stop um mixing when Okay, now I'm looking at it. I should have probably chopped the onion more finely, but it is what it is. As I said with the cookies, we are experimenting and finding out along the way what we should have done or shouldn't have done. Now I will just preheat my oven, prepare my baking sheet, and I will update you when I start making the meatballs. So I noticed I had a, a little onion situation going on, so I had to go back and fix them, but they look a lot better now, and um, yeah, lesson for next time, chop the onions better, but now I will put those for the, in the oven, and I'll see you after they are done. So while we wait for the meatballs, I was about to say cookies, the meatballs to get ready in the oven, I will start preparing the next step. So it calls for Joey's marinara sauce, but since we're not, um, well, I am tired and I'm not doing that, I will use a store-bought one. 
and in the recipe it says it's alright if you want to use a store-bought one it was an Italian week in Lido so I was lucky so I'm going to put that in the oven to start simmering and then we will add the meatballs and leave them to simmer for around 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll do the next step okay so now we are letting them simmer here they look good, they smell good because of the seasoning that I put a lot of and now we will let them simmer and in the meantime I'm going to cut this one into two sandwiches and then we had to yeah, put some cheese slices and let them melt in the oven so the meatballs are still simmering as you can hear them and see them in the background and the subs are in the oven so the cheese can melt but in the meantime, I thought we can start with the third and last thing, the starter. Yeah, I know, I start from dessert, I'm ending with the starter, but I wanted that one. The Joey meatball subs and the uh, thing that I'm cooking now. I want them both to be hot, so this is why we are doing that, while we are waiting for the meatball. Let's just tell you what we are cooking, what is the last thing we are cooking, and this is emergency garlic bread and this is from season 8 episode 3 the one where Rachel tells so what do we have here can you believe Char Chandler and Monica don't trust Joey or Phoebe with keys to their apartment after all these years neither can they when Chandler and Monica leave on their honeymoon and Joey and Phoebe realize they have stuff they absolutely need in there a guitar and a chicken parm obviously so they call their building superintendent trigger don't remember that guy uh, and say it's an emergency gas leak oh and to bring garlic bread so yeah this is apparently the garlic bread we are making and we have a quote from joey here i'll take care of it hey mr trigger is joey triviani listen i need to get into monica and chandler's apartment it's an emergency uh uh a gas leak yeah, oh, and, and bring garlic bread. So, this is a quote we have here. And so, apparently, we are making the Joey's emergency garlic bread and the Joey subs. Yeah, it's a very Joey dinner, but yeah, it's a pretty simple one. We need one round crusty sourdough loaf. We have it here. Then, we need garlic cloves minced. So I'm gonna cut them up better than the I did with the onion. Then we need one cup of unsalted butter and one, no, one third cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm using grated cheddar, this is what I have. And then we need salt, pepper and parsley to put on top if we want to. And the first thing to do is to preheat the oven, but since the subs are, the sub are all there, were already there, it is preheated, so that's checked. And then um, we need to cut the sourdough off into th two inches thick slices and place face up on the prepared baking sheet. And then in a small bowl we have to stir the garlic, the butter and the other um, seasonings and put on top. So this is the final result. They, now, they don't look amazing, they don't look like this. but. I'm really hoping they taste good. So the last thing, we've mixed the butter with the garlic. I think I put a bit more garlic than the recipe asked for, just a bit more. But I love garlic, so I don't see this being a problem. I've cut the bread here. I'm not going to touch the tray because it's hot. But yeah, now I just need to use something to spread it on each slice of bread and toast it in the oven for about 10 minutes and sprinkle with salt and pepper to taste I'm so wondering whether I should add the cheese because it wants to be a garlic bread but hmm, a garlic cheese bread okay I think I'll add the cheese but not in the mixture uh, but on top of the bread uh, yeah it's a pretty simple one and hopefully we will be ready in 10 minutes so here they are with the buttery garlicky thing and some cheese on top there's a lot of garlic as i said i don't know where you can see from the cheese but there's a lot of garlic and i'm looking forward to eating this now i'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes and hope for the best 
And here we have four more meatballs that were left after the subs, but don't worry, we will eat those too. And here you can see the garlic bread chilling by the subs. The, this is the cheese on top and I don't know whether I can see the garlic again. Mm, the butter obviously melted into the bread, so I hope it's delicious. And it's a lot of food, so we will go and enjoy it now. And yeah, that was great. I am fairly happy with it, although I still don't know how it tastes. So, just to reassure you that they are alright, I have my boyfriend try one of them. Don't look so skeptical, please. Okay, the garlic bread is crispy. Is it garlicky? It's nice. Mm -hmm. Is it very nice or is it just nice? It's very nice. Okay. It's very nice. Then we'll try the subs. You already tried the cookies. It's what crispy, it's cheesy, mm -hmm. it's garlicky, so... Okay, okay. Uh, and what did you think about the cookies? They are good. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't appreciate the orange touch. So we're not listening to him. We're not listening to him. It's great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you like them. So that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my new videos. Hopefully, I will make another cooking one. Let me know down in the comments if you like them and if you want me to do them again. And thank you once more for watching and I really hope to see you all in my next video. Until then, have a smiley week. Bye!